Oh, here we go, Leanne. Season two, episode one. Let's do it. Let's do it. End of July. No, not end of July. Mid middle, July. Middle of July. Okay. So yeah. we're both back from our vacations. In California. California. You know, I don't know if we've stated that Panama rains nine months out of the year. Have we? Have yeah, we? I know. That isn't really a great advert for Panama, but it does. It rains. 200 days a year, but it doesn't rain all day. We no. put a twist that it's very much like Florida, only rains for a little part of the day, and then it clears up. Yep, so we're just clearing up now, and you can see blue skies up there. Well, we were gonna stop in Sisu, yep, and meet a, meet a couple of guys that were gonna come out and feed with us tonight. So, uh, let's wait here and see if they show Do you see anyone up. in there? No, but we're, we're early, which is, not normal. Oh, you they clean their windows and now you're gonna put your fingerprints they on. They do. Thank you. All right, well, you know what? If we're gonna do this. What? Then what we're gonna do, let's talk about this building. Oh, let's talk do about Do you wanna talk about this building? Yeah. So since we got back from vacation, it's been painted. It's been being restored for, what, a couple of years? Would you call it restore? Restored. Ah, well, the building's been restored, exactly. Yeah. But Renovated. they've actually painted it since we left. Well, I know, because they finally finished enough to get to the outside to paint it. All right, well, let's have a look. All right. Ah, it's looking pretty good, Leanne. Let me stand back and see with you. Without getting look run over. It. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And for some of the audience that's been following us for a while, They've actually seen this taking shape, haven't they? Yeah. Yep. They're still working on the final coat because of the top floor. Ah. No, it looks really good. It does, and it kind of finishes out the whole corner here, doesn't it? Yeah, considering Whoop. this is the entrance, in the main entrance in well, Casco, it's got a really nice curve And then appeal. the building on the corner is coming in, and like we'd mentioned before, that's completely sold out, that one. Yeah, that's great. Those are all residential with some retail on the bottom. And, and let's just tell the audience, this is Ninth Street. Do we Street. have an audience? Yeah, we. I think we, well, actually we do. We have about 400 views on the last one. Oh, yay. <laughs> okay. Wait, so is this a good time to say subscribe? So, oh, that's good, because <laughs> we forgot that yesterday, know, didn't I we? I know, I know, I <clears> know. <throat> so you called it on on the Casca Viejo, but how would you describe Ninth Street up town so we have lower and then we have uptown which uh -huh. is uptown's always the prestigious part of any city that you go to but how would you describe ninth street i describe it as the entrance because this is where everybody passes through this is like the busiest street or the second busiest street in all of panama city this one and more that... cars pass through here and the other one is somewhere near the airport exactly yeah so i call it busy that's how i describe but it but we have nice businesses on ninth street of course we have sisu coffee yeah which is a great coffee shop and then this one is still yet to be determined top so secret but we know so then... stay tuned all right and then there something we've never really talked about is next door we have well, nothing Your business. Right. Oh, well, Invogue no, Luxury. No, but next door we have the old market. Well, that's when I was saying we know what's going in there. and you Oh, went, I thought you were talking about this one. No, I was talking next to Sisu. Oh, uh, my bad, my bad. Okay. All right, so, take two. Okay. So anyway, no, just kidding. I know. So next to where Troppy Market is that we know what's going into Troppy Market, the, the old, old Troppy Market, which is going to be super, super cool. Yes, now, and then that'll next, be good. And then next door to that, we've never done this. We've never talked about your business no we haven't because i'm all about really the cats on this but my business is uh interior design services and specializing in very customized high-end nice ceramic tiles mosaic stone very well i'm telling you what we're going to do because we help everyone and season two guys season two what we're going to do we're actually going to walk in there now and guys we haven't done this in season one we don't talk about our own business we don't talk about anything really outside of our own we don't talk about our personal stuff when we do the casco cat community but we do like to help other people in the community but now i think it's the time we show this it's fair did you turn the alarm off not yet okay why didn't you do it okay so where are we we are at In Vogue Luxury Tile and Design. All right. 
The alarm so is off, so come on I in. I am going to talk a little bit about this because Leanne is one of the only salespeople in the world that I ever met that has never, ever sells her business. No, I'm an interior designer, not a salesperson. So what I sell is really not selling. It's about the project. It's about the client. It's about their needs. It's about their style. And I'm, no, I'm not, a, I'm not a salesperson. No, so I, I even forget to say subscribe. Subscribe, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so we figured we'd give you a little glance of our little ground zero. And you've done lots of projects here. And I'm just going to say this, and please don't interrupt. You've done lots of projects in Casca Viejo. You've done lots of projects in Panama, whether it's out of the beach, Punta Baca, then you've done Costa Leste, and you've done El Valle, and then you've done out by the beach. You've actually, well, I've got to say it, Colombia, Belize. We won't say any more. But if you are coming to visit, no, you can't just come to the gallery because you have to make appointments. Yes. But if you are re if you are relocating to Casco Viejo or Panama in or general. Central America. Yeah, well, yeah, sure. And I actually, you have flown to the United States because you have projects in yes, the United I, States. I, I, I have design skills. Will travel. Okay, very <laughs> cool. All right. Well, sorry to put you on the spot, Leanne. Let's yeah, go no and kidding. see if we can meet our friends next door. They're actually tourists that would like to come out with us and feed the cats. So let's go find them. But this seems Hi, like this might be. I am. Hi, are you? Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Nice to meet you. This is James. Hi. Hey. And I, I don't know you if don't you mind. know, but we have a YouTube channel, so are you okay filming while we go along? Sure. All right. That's great. Cool. Hi, and you are? Oh, this is I'm my Jimmy. husband. Jimmy, nice to meet you. James, James. welcome. I'm Leanne. Taylor, it's a pleasure. I got a son called Taylor. Oh, yeah, 34 years old. Oh, that's yeah. great. So, so, how was your, your coffee? It was so good. Okay. So we're going to improv this now. So y'all are obviously cat people. Well, there's a group of us that have been feeding the cats here in Casco for a long time. But during COVID, we kind of, because it was a ghost town here. There was nobody here. And a lot of people come and visit and will feed the cats, but no one was here to feed them. So we just... We knew that there was a pocket of us still here, so we just kind of started organizing. Okay, I'll get this pocket, you get this pocket. Because we were only allowed out two hours a day. Wow. We have very tight quarantine here. Men and women were only allowed out separate days. We didn't go out for over almost a year. Seven months we couldn't go out together. together. And I was only allowed out four hours a week, two, two on Tuesday, two on Thursday. And then what? Leanne was allowed out six hours a week on Monday, Monday Wednesday, Wednesday, Friday. Friday. Legitimately. And we had police and, uh, yeah, you couldn't go out. No way. Yeah. So that's when we kind of organized and said, okay, I'll cover this pocket, you guys cover that pocket. And that's when our Casco Cat community kind of began. Okay, cool. So. But they're super scared right now, so they may be very hesitant to come out. <laughs> Buenos dias. Come on, Boo Boos. This is Tip and Tot. Here's Diane right here. Yep. She's the one that runs across the street. We have names for all of this them. This is Diane. So bear with us on that. So I have names for like 98% of them. Hi, buddy. Come on. So where, whereabouts are you visiting from? Colorado. Oh, I, I've spent some time there. Greeley, oh, wow. Greeley and Breckenridge. Oh, uh, okay. That's awesome. I'm from Fort Collins. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, so the interesting thing is while we've been gone, things have changed. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if before anybody actually really saw inside Diane and Cece's house, but mainly because there was so much debris, they couldn't. But when you get over here, I, I, I hear them. Oh, check it out. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Come on! <laughs> Come on, Bloomy! Come on, you all got a laugh at that, haven't you? Come on, babies! So I think there's like, more than one there. Yeah, there is. There's two. That's uh, Mitzi and Plume. I can tell. But they've been living over here since their apartment was under construction. Well, their apartment's under construction, and it's amazing all the work that's been done over there. Come on! Come so on, they're going to follow you down, right? Well, we're, we're going to try. They've been very scared to come all the way over. 
You gonna go in today, Plume? Oh, so close, baby. So close. Come on, Plume. Can you make it today? We're, we've been trying to gradually get back in. Oh, here comes Diane. Here comes Diane. She's been Look hiding at the up. clean digs. I Look know. how clean everything is. Yeah, but the problem is now I they don't, don't see have. Where is she? Oh, there she's she is, there. strutting. Yeah, strutting they don't... her stuff. Aww. Well, once you put the food down, Leanne, no. I, I've got a feeling. Mate, she's not. She's been there. I didn't see Cece yesterday. Here. Here you go. Hi, buds. Would you like to give me some food and I'll take it up to Plume? Well, can you get it up in the doorway? I, I will, yeah. All right, here. All right, thank you very much. There's two in there, so give them two All piles. right, let's see how we do on this one. There they are. Look at those guys, huh? Ah, but... I tell you what, I'm really happy to be back. It's kind of pretty cool, it is. Oh, your feet are dirty. How are you doing, Leah? We're good, except for missing Cece. And Cece wasn't here last night either, huh? Mm -mm, no. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with one, two nights when I don't see them, but I, I start to get a little bit nervous when I don't see them for a couple of days. Yeah. Diane, are you not hungry? Look how dirty her feet are. Let me see. They're pretty skittish, aren't they? Yeah, they're very scared right now. Let me see. But they do have cleaned out, and I guess that's one of the sacrifices. If someone's going to come in and remodel your digs, then, oh yeah, look at that. They're really nervous. What's wrong with your work sometimes? All right, no, I fed them, and they are happy as a clam. So did another... they say that? Yeah, they did. They oh. gave me a wink. Okay, good. So the one thing... like I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, okay, let's have a look at this. I have, this is a quiz. This is a quiz to the audience. What do we think is going to be in this building now they painted it green? Before it was a nightclub, noisy neighbor nightclub. Rooftop bar that was so obnoxious. It certainly was. Hola, senor. But you know a place we haven't gone for a... Well, we haven't gone. It's Tantalo. So let's just bust right in there and right. see what's going on. All right, hopefully it's someone we know in here. Let's go in, let's go in, let's go in. Oh, how are you? Good, good to see you. Hola, senor. How are you? Good to see you. We're out feeding the... doing the cat yeah, rounds. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> so let's have a guess. Who's playing tonight? Yeah. Panama. I'll give the support. Panama team. 2-1 tonight, I believe. Panama. <laughs> so this... So, but... This is... Yeah. This is ground zero. Yeah, one of the original hotel, club, restaurants. It actually You're gonna have is... a big crowd tonight? It actually is one of the most popular spots in Panama City. In fact, this, I would say, what were we at? Ten year anniversary, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is actually ground zero. If it hadn't have been for Tantalo, Gasco wouldn't be the party place that it is today. Absolutely stunning. Hola. Hola, como esta? Thank you. Hey, how are you? Fine, thank you. Welcome to Tantal Hotel. Yeah. Where are you from? Down the street. Calle Diaz. Ah, <laughs> cool. All right, ciao. Ciao. Hi, Mr. James. Good, Good to, to see you. Yeah. Okay. Good to see you. See you later. See you. Bye. Bye. Oh, check it out, mi amigo. Panama. So how are you doing? You doing good? Good. Hopefully you're busy tonight. We see you. Ciao. Hold on, Leanne, let's stand here. I'm going to back up. Stand underneath the sign. There we go. And the reason we did this is Leanne's outfit matches the tantalo. So here we go. So, you know, we I don't know why we've never been in there. We, well... Because we're just so used to used to walking past it. Yeah, season two. Yeah. In fact, there's a story in 2014 and 2018 I watched every single World Cup game. Not, no, he's not kidding. Every single, not just England, not just the United States, not just Panama, not just one team. Every single game yeah, in a you, World Cup. Uh, I Do you know. know how many hours that is in front of a television? 52. Uh, well, no, there's 52 matches. So that Hola. would be about 120 hours 
but what's even interesting now is the guys that I used to work with, if they're gonna watch this, they're gonna go, now I know where you were for that month. Yeah, you were MIA. <laughs> yeah, MIA, exactly. So anyway, so it was good to go in there and show the people. Yeah. And uh, one day we'll do, because we always pass Magnolia too. Hola, yeah. senor. And what's really, hola, senor, bien, gracias. What's really exciting since we've been away and we come back, we have a, like a little bit of a better admiration for Casca Viejo, because it's home. Speak for yourself, because I never. You never had an admiration for Casca Viejo. No, I never not had one. <laughs> 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 so anyway, so but a, a lot of buildings have been painted since I've been gone. It's just like they're all starting to click along now, you know. Okay, come on, Terror. Here we go. Come on, little Terror. This is like quick, quick draw McGraw right here. Okay. Well, and then the other thing that the audience doesn't know is your last name is your maiden name is Er. Arp. Ar okay, I said that wrong. Arp. Most as in, most people as do. And Wyatt. this only came up because I mentioned the word quick draw. Yeah, I know. I got the. I got it. Yeah. The audience will. So Leanne's maiden name is Arp, as in the actual, the very same bloodline as White Earp. Now, some of you might think that's a load of BS. No, it's not. In fact, if you've all heard of an area called Longview, Texas, well, Longview, Texas, before the railroad went through, was called Earpville, Texas. Earpville. Yes, now go fact find to Google Prowlers and try and prove us wrong on that one. But anyway, so that's Leanne's bloodline. My bloodline has absolutely zero relevance. Well, I guess I could say my grandfather was an auctioneer in the late 1800s, and then in the early 1900s, my grandmother was a street trader on Parnell Street in Ireland until 1970. So what you have to really think about, what a combination of DNA. That explains why you like to talk all the time. And then we'll just leave it at that. Oh, that could we have something to do with it, grandfather being an auctioneer in Dublin? Yeah, you like to talk. Okay. Yeah. Hey, you know, um, I'm sure they won't mind, and I, I think I remind when we met Taylor and Jim yeah. last night. The two, the, the couple yeah, that that's were with us. Yeah, husband and wife, not yes. guy and a guy, not a girl and a girl, but Taylor and Jim. Yes. They, well, uh, well, I don't think they'll mind us putting some of their footage in this video, do you? Well, we asked them, so they said it would be okay, so I think that would Did be... you get them to sign? I didn't, I didn't get them to sign an, uh, a document, though, so, but... Do you think if we have them on camera saying it's okay, then it's okay? Well, yeah, and do you know where we live? Well, Panama. Yeah, I, I, I know. Yeah. Hola. Hola, senor. Good luck on that one, right, Liam? Yeah. So here we go. Hold on. Got to stand across the street for this one because so, everyone's getting dressed up for tonight. Yeah, because so tonight they'll be showing the Panama, U.S. And Mexico, Jamaica. Yep. Mexico, Jamaica here at American Bazaar. It's great for watching sports. Oh, look at this. And this has been open for a while, and American Bazaar is still nice and shiny clean. Good one for you, Chris Lenz. Yeah, way to go, Well, I Chris. should say Chris Lenz, but I guess we should say Fidel and his team, right? Yeah. But as you always say, it uh, starts at the top. OK. I bet if you pulled on that door, it would open. Maybe not. Ah, sneak. What you should do is go through the restaurant and you can cut through the hotel. You don't have to sneak through. You can just go through the Luigi's and then and then you can cut through. I'll show you. No, don't worry. Look at this. You should get a job here, Leanne. You can cut through right there. So you can either go through the American Bazaar or go through there and cut through that door. <laughs> the front entrance of the hotel is on the opposite side of the block. This is the entry, one of the entries to the, the restaurants here, and you go straight through the courtyard for Hotel La Compania. So this is part of uh, Hotel All La the Compania. All yeah. and the rooftop. Yeah. And the rooftop bar. Yes, it's most probably the nicest one in Casco. It's fair. I'm sorry? Capella's? Capella. Yeah, no, it's really, really nice. It really is. Music is nice and quiet. It's not loud. Where are you visiting from? I'm from the U.S. Oh, how about it? Whereabouts in the U.S.? 
Oh my heavens, never been there. Well, you got Ball State, right? Ball State, Muncie, Indiana. That's all I know. But welcome, you enjoying it? Are you? Oh, Notre Dame is big, yeah. Are you enjoying Panama? Well, good on you. We live here, and we're out actually, we, we feed 35 cats a day here. Oh, wow. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> Well, enjoy it. And know this area is extremely safe. But don't walk off the cobble streets. That way. So don't go that way off the cobble streets. Because those bags that you have, you may not have when you come back. <laughs> so. No, I'm from Texas. OK. I picked that up. Yeah. Hola. English. I put some food yeah. in. <laughs> but we, uh, we, we came here in 2008, and then we moved full time 2016, 17. This isn't real. This is make believe. It's very, very cool. We so cool. like it. Yeah, it's good. Okay, Leanne, it looks like you got a little bit of action tonight. Well, I only have one more here. One of the. Oh, wait, maybe there's Iris. Iris, is that you? Come on, Iris. And we still haven't seen Luke, huh? They tell me they see him at night over there, but I don't know. Iris! Come on, buddy. Come on, Iris. Come on, Iris. Well, I think what happened, you know, I, I will say that since we were gone that one month, a lot's happened with the kitty cat community. You know that? Well, I was only gone. I wasn't gone one month. Oh, you just gone two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. But this has happened, this this shift has happened since I got back this week. Yeah. And as you mentioned, that's because the bulldog's been loose, right? Yeah. That, and again, they've been cleaning, they've been going in and And up on... Uh, B Street with Diane and gang, that's been completely cleaned out. So everything's unsettled pretty much, isn't yeah. it? There's there's a couple of, of kitty colonies that are a little bit in unrest at the moment. Because I normally have at least seven here. Yeah, so if, if anyone really wants to learn about what we do, what would they do, Leanne? Well, they can look us up on our website at www.cascocatcommunity.org. There you go, org, organization. Org, 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 or TikTok, Instagram. Yeah. And our Facebook. Facebook and our YouTube channel. Hola, hola, hola. Yeah, Utu, our YouTube is, is actually doing pretty good. We'd love it if you could subscribe and share with your friends. And um, and we, well, we do run off of donations. I hate saying this. I got a little bit carried away last season. We do, we do run off of donations, and there, there is a page that you can visit on our website. Because we buy like, a lot of this. Yeah, we buy a lot of food. We, <laughs> we spend more on food. We pay food. retail. We spend more on food than kids in there. Or drinks. Huh? Or drinks. Or drinks, exactly. All right, let's go. All right. So onwards, Bye, upwards. So. Do you remember this building? Do you remember the history on this building? The history of the building or the museum that's in there? The museum, yes, there is a museum in there. And I was reading the other day that they're actually going to come along and spend $350,000 on a refurbish on this building. That would be great. Look how pretty it is. So that's kind of testament to how I well mean, we're really, doing. If you're going to talk about it, actually look at the architecture. With the triangular right, so where shall I start? Where shall I start? Because you're going to be talking. Okay, the triangular, the door. triangular pediment over the door with yep. the shield of Panama. Okay. Then you've got the decorative columns. Okay. Then you've got the beautiful angels with the... the oh, shoot. Yeah, I'm that. telling you. You've never actually, we talk about it, but look at the beautiful detail on it. Yeah, if you like that, this really is an amazing community look to come the, and visit. the detail in the... Uh, the pediments over the windows with oh, the wow, corbels. I mean, it's really a beautiful. It really is. And we, you know, when we come here, we always talk about the museum next door and how and and how popular that is. But I can now I really understand why they are going to put that investment into this building. Yeah. And now like you mentioned there is a little museum in the back. So yep. it's not like 
no one gets to enjoy this government building. I mean, everyone gets the opportunity to enjoy it if they if they want to. Right. And you, I know we have before in the past. We've shown them where the museum is located in there, and we've shown them the beautiful the marble sculpture in there. Well, and if they, if people were to go back and look at other episodes, it's in there. It's actually in there. But you're right. We never really have but stepped back. We've never back. stood back and looked at the pointed out the beautiful architecture. Well, do you think maybe because there was so much tourism when bef That's before we be. left? That could be. I'm just trying to find any kitties over here. Here we go. This is the, uh, I guess you would call this the town square. We call it the plaza, don't we? Cathedral plaza. Cathedral plaza, and I'm going to do a little Because of the pan. big cathedral. Yeah. You know, I remember last season when I was filming, I was filming that really cool event coming out of the Central Hotel. Got home. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't push the record. I'm looking now to see if I've got a flashing red light. I didn't push the record button. Oh, and it so was I got a great home wedding. and I was so disappointed because it was such a cool wedding. You know, it happens. I'm sure you're not the only one. Yeah, I think so. And oh. this young man has been here as long as we've been here. Hola. Bien, bien, bien. Buenas tardes. Uh-huh. Tonight. 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 La noche. Panama. Panama. Si. Hasta mañana. <laughs> so, beautiful hotel. In fact, when you look back from the other the other way, you can actually see the convex. Or a con are we call it convex? Yeah, that's an outer curve, right? Yeah. Of the, of the hotel. I, I, you know, I'm wondering if the audience can notice that there isn't so many orange cones. Do you remember the story that came out last last season about the orange cones? Yes, well, it, the was orange a, it was a parody. So the orange cones became so popular that people now are stealing them like garden gnomes in England. <laughs> Everyone wants an orange cone. So Maybe Casco being track. known for its orange cones, I would say by the end of the year, we most probably won't have any orange cones. So let's see who's on 4th Street. Who's on 4th? Isn't that a baseball saying? Yeah. Let's see who's on 4th. Okay. I don't know, it just feels nice strolling tonight. Yeah. Why is that? Mm. Uh oh, look who's humid. behind you. Hi, Sandy. Look at this. Come on, Sandy. She looks pregnant, but she's not, because <sighs> she's fixed. Well, the reason they're not is because... Hola. Hola, Hola senor. Is 90% of the cats in the community are pretty well spayed and neutered, aren't they, Dan? Yeah, I would Hola, say we're, we're over... Over 85%. It's pretty cool. Let's let this uh, yeah. this taxi get out of the way. Yep. All right, let's see right, who we, we got, got the, tonight. We got the danger danger zone out of the way, so we got oh, enough space now. Oh, look at this. Yeah, we got huh? a clear shot. Wow. Hi, buds. Hi, so, buddies. We got one little gang. The 4th Street gang is still intact and 100%. Yeah. And I really am hoping that the... Uh, the rest of them get back, you know. Yeah, I know. And they have to. They have to get. They have to trust their space again. So yeah. this when they block up that hole, but someone has opened up the corner over there. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah. So they can get in and out. Yeah. But these look pretty healthy, and I, 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 I like you. We've seen these grow up. Yes. These. These. Excuse me, Cassidy. Excuse me. Oh, yes. check okay. that out. Yes. Okay. Here. She's knocking for food, huh? Can you get her to do that again? I'm <laughs> thinking we can do a circus. You know, I was thinking after last night with uh, Taylor and Jim. Yeah. Is that, you know, one day we could do cat tours. I'm not volunteering for it, but just to let you know, there could be, but we need to train these like Circus du Soleil cats. <laughs> Because there's absolutely, I mean, a lot of people like you say, they love cats and they come out for cats. Cassidy, but, stop. you know, um, someone like me that tags along may not be so passionate about cats like you are. I know. Okay, y'all ready to eat today? Yeah, so I think what we're going to have to do, there you go, Cece. What we need to do, just like on uh, Britain's Got Talent and Simon Cow, I know he likes dogs. Do you think he'd like cats? Well, remember, there was that one that was a great... Yeah, so we need to get to it with these cats. We need to have a couple of uh, UFC fighters. Then we have a couple of beggar oh, that's, caps. That's easy. Then we have a couple of beggar caps. Uh, 
Oh, look, here we go. Panama's finest. Buenas. Buena, buena. That's what keeps us safe, and I'm not saying that jokingly. Okay. Casca Viejo in Panama is, well, I'd say it's most probably one of the safest places in Central America. Yeah. I, I really do believe that, Leanne. I mean, we have the tourist police that helps tourists and cycle around, and we have the resident municipality. You're, you're asking for tricks, and you're Oh, I see. It. Okay. Come on, in. Well, you're... Show me some bloody tricks. Then. Look. Oh, look at this. Look, you're asking for tricks. And then we have the SBI police, so it is really safe. If you're a tourist and you're thinking of coming to, to Panama, and if you wonder why we wander around and feed the cats, it's because we feel entirely safe doing it, regardless of what you may hear. Well, I feed the cats because I care for the cats, whether I feel safe or not. Here's Sandy. Hey, how are you? Good, thank you. Are you on holiday? Where are you from? You're going to be on YouTube, just to let you know that. We're doing... Oh, good, so do we. But ours is most probably not as popular as yours. But... We are from Arizona, and we've driven here. You drove? We did. That's impressive. Yeah. Oh, my heavens, congratulations. How was it? OK, the highlight? Oh, that's really yeah, tough. Oaxaca is amazing. Oaxaca, uh, Antigua, Antigua, uh, Antigua. Wow, and then the hardest part? Uh, crossing the borders. Yes. Well, crossing the borders into... I Salvador, could see that. Honduras, oh, yeah. Nicaragua, uh, yeah, because it's not something that happens every day, so everyone gets set back a little bit. How do we handle this, right? Yeah, it's mainly just language barrier, as well as uh, different fixers trying to take advantage of you. Uh-huh. all the bureaucracy and all the weird things that you have to do. Nothing is... There's no signage. Well, yeah. There's then there's no. rules. If there's signs, so there's rules. The rules. They make up the rules as yeah. they go. Yeah. Um, well, the rules change. Yeah. So are you going all the way to Argentina? We are. Better than doing it on a my motorcycle, right? We have friends that are doing that as well. Yeah, I know. It gets bloody cold down in Argentina to do that, right? They all think it's a good idea until they start freezing. I, I think I'd rather freeze than go this way, though. Oh, really? Cartagena is very, Casco is beautiful. We love it. We lived here for a long time. But Cartagena is the finished product. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. Now, but when you're there, don't go outside the wall city. They yeah. drove here. I think they can handle it. Yeah, I know, themselves. but I'm just saying, once you're out and about, you can go to the beach resorts and you can stay within the city, which is like 10 times big. No, about maybe five times bigger than Casco. But don't go wandering off other places. And I only say that from experience when I went with friends. So what's what's your YouTube? Do we want to say that again? Then? Go ahead, sell it again. Uh, we're further off road. Oh, my cool. God. Oh, well, we're the Casco Cat community. Ah, yeah. And that's what we do. And Leanne, we go out and do about 35 cats every day, and we've been doing it for years. Feeding the cats, not you two. We're very new. At yeah, this. we're really new at this. This is why you see me doing it the way that I'm doing it. You have the asthma pocket as well. Oh, you do? Yeah. And then do you have the little speakers? Yeah. Amazing, huh? Right now, I'm just doing this. Ah, okay. Well, I'm going to end right now. Thank you so much. Yeah, nice meeting you guys. You too. My heavens, what an adventure today is. Yeah, that was super cool. Real YouTubers. Real YouTubers, not us fake things. Oh, my heavens. I was thinking I needed to... just get out of the street. I was thinking I needed to bow to them. Could they've been you on get YouTube. Out of the street? Been on YouTube for years. Three. Oh, I think they've been trapped. Yeah, three years three on Three years on Hola. YouTube. Hola. Been traveling for nine months. Hola. Hola, senor. Thank you very, very much. As always, fabulous, fabulous artwork. Always. And if you ever come to Panama, you have to, you have to come to this gallery. Gabriel. And then just around the corner, we have uh, mailboxes, etc. So if you was Hi, to get buddy. something, you could just pop it in an envelope and uh -huh. send it back. I know. What are you doing out here? Are you watching the match tonight? What are you doing out here? The football? Okay. Yeah, another couple of hours. All right, see you. Yes. Oh, they, they, they came to meet me. 
Can you get him to come back? We were talking about the circus let's, thing. Come on. Let's try. Oh, wow. Come on. Come on. Okay, I'll come to you now. Room you're service. Doing, you're doing well. You're at room service. Bye, bud. Bye, monkeys. Good job, Leanne. I'm impressed. You know, I, I, I was gone for a month. You were gone for two weeks. And you've done amazing things with the cats in the last two weeks. You, you just really never have. Paid attention. No, I have paid attention. I am just <laughs> ecstatic. It may have something to do with that leopard skirt you have on. They think you're part of the cat family now. I am part of the cat family. Yes, you are. I'm definitely part cat. <clears throat> well, what a lot of fun tonight's been. I really enjoy getting out and about tonight. Yeah. And I did enjoy right. meeting uh, Taylor and Jim. Yes, yesterday. Um, I'm uh, sorry that our new friends didn't make it today, but maybe they'll reach out to us. Well, it's very possible. To reschedule. Well, it, it, you know, people are on vacation, and I get it. It's yeah. things and pop for, up. And for the next video, I believe we actually have a guest tourist from Spain. But you know what's going to make this even funny? They don't speak English. They speak Spanish and French. Do you speak French? Mm. Hola. Hola. Not very much. Hola, senor. Hola. 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 Yeah. <clears throat> so that'll be on our next episode. Is that Friday? Is that when we're? Yep, I think so. Oh, cool. So anyway, so now let's see how you've done well with these cats. Well, we'll have to get Google Translate out for Friday. Then. Exactly. So who have we got here, Leah? We should have Nacho and Sammy, but sometimes Nacho's been wandering off to the park. Ah, uh -huh, OK. Oh, he's there. There we go. Oh, they're both there. Look at this. Y'all are home tonight. Oh. Y'all are home, and I don't have to track you down. You don't have to, don't have to go track you down. Do you know what I like here. about tonight? I don't feel like I'm under pressure of all the tourists and yeah, stepping out of the way all the time. I, I, no, I know it's not good. No, you just step out of the way of the cars. Uh, yeah, make me well, nervous. Yeah, they can see me. But yeah, I... Um, I really shouldn't say I'm glad there's not so many tourists, but I'm kind of glad there's not so many tourists so we can get out and do this and enjoy so maybe, our own... Maybe you don't mean tourists. Maybe you just mean people. People. There, there you go. People. That's it. People on the sidewalks and... Because then we can enjoy our company. Do you enjoy my company? Yeah, sometimes. Oh, well, sometimes. That's yeah, nice. I know. It's finding it hard to believe. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. look. So now... So now we can actually spend a, a little bit of focus on this. Do we call these mojitos? What do these call these? Mojito is a drink. I know, I'm just kidding. I was just testing you. Molas. They're called what? Mola. Mola, mola, mola. Molas. Look at this. It's super cool. Very, very traditional. And then we have a traditional Kuna family. Panama. Panama. Gracias. Looks fabulous, doesn't it? I mean, this is really nice. I mean, and the thing is, it's just not overwhelmed. Look at that, huh? The nice thing is, is you can still buy authentic things here. I mean, you go to most yeah. cities and you don't get authentic things. No, they're like made somewhere else and then put here, but th those are actually made here. So let's see how right. we do this evening. We need Frankie and Bonnie. And I'm going to put some, I think I'm going to put some footage in from last night. Oh, look at this. Oh. Yeah, they didn't perform so well last night, these guys. Took well, a little bit of work, Frank, didn't they? Frankie did. It was just Bonnie was still sleeping, you know. Yeah. Okay. Come on. She's looking at this camera going, I didn't give you the rights to film me. Yep, yep, yep. Come here, Frankie. Come on. Oh, good boy. Bonnie, you're going to be brave. You're going to be brave. And tonight we don't have to go over to the theater because... Yeah, we do. Oh, we still have to go yeah. over? Oh, okay. Yeah, we got to do Princessa. Well, I better check see what time it is. Oh, it's 5.20. Yeah. Because I can hear commentary behind me, and yeah, I'm going no. that... You're like, are we missing the game? I, I hope we're not. No. Well, I don't think so. Well, that oh, could bunny. just... Oh, Oh, look, look, look. Oh, come on, bunny girl. So while we're here, we're yes. going to ask you, give us the highlights. 
contents of Panama? Yeah, what you liked and what you didn't like. I'm not gonna lie, this is a highlight for sure. Oh, that's super cool. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. This is great. She's the one to us and she saw the QR code at the top of the shop. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, buddy. We did that. We did that for our Valentine's campaign. Yeah. Yeah, we do Valentine month. Come on. We for the cats. So, what did you like, though? I mean. Did you go to that little hamburger bar on the beach? Is no. that still there? No, we just went. We mostly just stayed at. Um, and you just hung out the whole time. Well, when we said we were filming YouTube, and they said, "Oh, we're YouTubers too," so. So we felt like. Well, let the audience let us know. We don't. Well, we're not no, doing that because well, don't, don't. we don't even get any bloody comments. So I'm. I'm <laughs> we think, do sometimes. Yeah, we do get a couple of comments. And we usually reply when we see them. Yeah, we do. We get one person that keeps on telling us the true facts, and we appreciate. I appreciate that. Yeah. There's nothing better than getting corrected on things that we say, especially because we're considered to be gringos. And um, yeah, I think uh, I think we had a good night tonight. I really do. Yeah. It was a good night because okay, most of the cats were accounted for and fed. So for me, that's a good night. And the, the YouTubers told us that they were staying right here in Villa Palma. Which is this Pat little hotel. Pat goes out to Irwin and Joel. For their their win, yep. Yeah, they've done an amazing job with this. There's, there's a massive story behind this and we will actually come in here one day and we'll uh, do some video. Yes, because the furniture is... Uh, quite ornate and over the top over the top but, yeah but it's a and then here as we cheap. always go by we got the Sofitel legend the Casco Viejo the, oh it's called Casco Viejo Hotel but it's actually operated by Sofitel legend yes. which is part of the Accor company which I think could be the second biggest hotel company in the world and we know this because we stay in a lot of their products when we travel in Southeast Asia so anyway, we're pretty well at the end of our tour. All right. I don't particularly want to finish with this truck right there in the... No, well, let's, let's get up here and look down the, the boulevard. Okay, and then we'll finish on the boulevard. So we can finish with a, a... And if anyone does get to come to the end of this video, we thank you. Thank you very much. Really, it's been such a wonderful, wonderful time having you all with us this evening and you can hear the Calypso star music in the background. As well as the thunder. As well as the thunder. And this is an area that most people are accustomed to. But I am going to say it's good night from me. And good night from me. See you next week. Ciao.